So here is the Brain FPV flight controller kit. Just came in. And you'll see these guys are in Michigan in the United States here. And it looks like Ypsilanti, Michigan right there. And let's go take a look inside. So it's just got this bundle in here. Okay, here's what's in there. And the kit comes with three things. And of course the invoice right here. So that's basically what it is, just says what was in the box. And there's their logo, Brain FPV. Okay, looks like we got a noise suppressing capacitor here and two options for the pins. And let's see if this is what I think it is. Okay, yeah, that's that wing power board right there. The wing power module. And it has a little cable to just plug right in and that'll go and connect to the flight controller. So that was what was in package number one. Alright, package number two. Got a warning. Please read the card before damaging it. That's what that was. Okay, so now we got some cables for wiring things up. Okay, and look at that. Some, some nice looking stickers. There's the cables. Alright, now the board. There you go. They didn't tape them shut. Okay, so there's the flight controller board right there. Alright, so that flight controller board mounts on top of that. And you can see how small that is. That's amazing. And this cable will just wrap around, plug in there. So that's that piece. And now for the final package. Package number three. What could it be? Another card. Oh, this is little instructions on how to hook it up. And as you can see, it's the GPS. And here's the GPS wire. I'm not going to say this doesn't require some soldering, but I think that little cable takes out a lot of it where you can plug the two boards together. The power board and the flight controller, that's nice. So that means you're going to get your voltage and current readouts and stuff within iNav. Yes, it uses iNav. And that's why it has a GPS. So we can get that home arrow, coordinates return to home, circle above and all that. So that's pretty cool. So basically you're talking about these three components right here. And the cost was $99. So you can see that's about an inch by an inch. And the power board is just a little bigger. And and the GPS puck's just a little bigger. Let me zoom in on that. All right, there we go right there. You can see all three of them. And see, there's my finger. Look at my thumb. <laughs> These are small, so good for a, a small wing or small aircraft. Doesn't take up much space. It ought to be fairly easy to install, and I know there's good instructions on the website. And of course, they did provide this little card here so you can't make a mistake on the GPS. You know, you always got to reverse the TX and RX at each end, so that's... I already knew that, but it's good that they provided it. So let's take a look at the Radex Brain FPV flight controller board on the bench. Here it is right here. Now I've got a couple of servos hooked up to it right now, and the easy UHF receiver, which really isn't doing anything because I don't have a radio on right now, a transmitter. And uh, then I have a camera hooked up right here, and this has a voltage readout on it, OSD, and we'll take a look at that. I'll put that up in the corner here where you can see that. That's the OSD from this board right here and the OSD from the camera. And there's a uh, Racer 2 logo that's coming from the camera. And also the battery voltage going to the camera, which is 5 volts. So this board is providing 5 volts to the camera as well as to the other components and it's all running off this battery right here. So one person asked me could I feasibly use this just as a GPS unit and OSD and not have the servos or the receiver or any of that. In other words just velcro it to any plane I want and have an OSD with GPS. And I think the answer is yes. Here's the GPS unit right here. 
and as long as you've got the GPS satellites you can probably get a home arrow and uh, fly yourself home if you need to. It won't have return to home if you don't have any servos hooked up. In other words if your control system isn't going through the flight controller then all you'll have is GPS but you would have for example your artificial horizon for like your pitch and your roll so you would have that you would probably get your altitude and your GPS speed which are the rails that are on the right and left and the altitudes up there in the upper left hand corner so I think you get a lot of stuff like that but you wouldn't get certain features like auto leveling and uh, stabilization so you wouldn't have those if the servos wasn't uh, if the servos weren't connected you wouldn't have those uh, so that's that answer so you can see it's fairly simple to hook up and uh, if you didn't have this board on the bottom you wouldn't be able to get the uh, current and voltage readouts and stuff from your flight battery but if you're just going to be using GPS you probably wouldn't even need that lower board either you could get away with that without that um, I think that's about it I just wanted to show you quickly what the display looked like because it is a really nice display high quality graphical display and uh, that's probably why you're paying the extra money to get that and plus it's all made in the USA this isn't from China you can get it easily in the USA it's a it's a United States company and uh, I know these haven't caught on you know these haven't caught on very well I guess it's because of the price you know like ninety nine dollars is probably a lot of money considering but remember you don't have to search for the GPS component or the little power board or anything else it all comes as a package I think if you added all of those three things up if you bought them separately with the shipping at all it'd probably come close to the same price anyway and it's so easy just to get it all as one package so you don't have to try to mix and match and you've got a good manual to hook it up so it's fairly easy to install okay that's all I wanted to say just wanted to get this out quickly I just got it and I uh, just thought I'd show it to you it's been out probably for a year so I'm kind of late to the game, but I just thought I'd try it out. Um, so that's about it. We'll talk to you later. If you got any questions, you can put them under the video. And I'll try, as I learn more about this, to answer those questions or maybe put them in the next video. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.